Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're going to talk, next couple of videos, we're going to talk about booleans and how to simply use them. Because sometimes they can screw up your geometry. As you can see here, if I double click this piece of geometry and hide it, we have a hole, a perfectly round hole through this square, and it's holding its shape. And we I've done that using booleans. Um, same can be said for this mesh, as you can see, I just did a little cut out there like that, and it's holding its shape, and it's round inside of square, and I did it using booleans. Now, of course, there's several ways you can do this, but um, we're going to talk about booleans, okay? So let's go ahead and start anew. I'm going to lay down a cube, okay, and then I'm going to get a new mesh, and I'm going to lay down a cylinder. I'm going to make it about eight sides, zero segments. And I'm going to go to my top view, and I'm going to lay it down right in the middle of that cube by clicking once, holding my control key, key in, and clicking and dragging, and it will draw out a perfectly constrained cube, like so. Or a cylinder, I'm sorry. Or whatever geometry it is you're actually doing. Okay, so let's go ahead here and draw this out like this like so okay now if I select both of these you can see we have our cylinder going through the center of our cube there okay so now we're gonna run a boolean because I wanna make a hole inside of this cylinder okay so I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple loop slices along this cylinder up and down by using alternate C putting the mode to symmetry and putting count of two and I'm going to put a couple loop slices about at 10 5 percent just so it'll hold its shape a little bit when I go into sub D mode okay like so now also we can click the top here shift click the bottom hit the B key and just click once and that will round that out like that so let's go back everything's in polygon mode now so let's go ahead and run our booleans. Now in order to run booleans, what you want to boolean together has to be on separate meshes. Okay? So as you can see, this cylinder here is on the bottom. Number two represents this cylinder. And the square is the mesh on top. So whatever the mesh on the bottom is, is considered the background mesh. Okay? So if I want to boolean these two together, I'll pick my top mesh, my foreground mesh, Mesh Edit, Boolean, and I'm going to say Subtract. And when I say Subtract, boom! It subtracts that cylinder out of that cube. Now you can see our cylinder is still there, but since we've made our Boolean, we don't need that cylinder anymore. So we can just turn the eyeball off to it, or we can delete it altogether. Let's just delete it. Okay, so there we go. Now our boolean, we cut a hole right through that square. But, 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 if you'll notice when we go to sub D mode, boy, it really just folds in on itself and it does not, does not hold any type of hole or shape whatsoever. So now we got to go in here and we got to cut this up, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is run loop slice with alternate C around the sides here like this. Put a couple up to the top. Okay, that will start it out. Now, if I hit the tab key, it tries to hold its shape, but we're not keeping that hole in the middle, okay? So now let's go ahead and pick a couple polygons around the inner of our boolean, Alt-C, symmetry mode, count of two, and let's run two like this. Hit the tab key. Still, it's still not holding that boolean, and booleans are hard to work with. So let's go into our top mode, okay? And we're going to call up a tool we haven't used yet. And if you go to Mesh Edit, you'll see the Slice tool. And to activate it, you just click the Slice tool or hit Shift-C. I'm going to hit Shift-C, like so. And I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to run, like that, a cut right down the edges. I'm going to hold Shift to reactivate it. Run a cut right down the edge like that. Do the same thing here and here. 
Now that's the slice command. Now as you can see, that cut our mesh up some more because we wouldn't be able to run a loop slice this direction and that direction because this little line here would, would interrupt us. Now don't worry about this right here. We have some tries and, and that's not an issue right now because this is not going to a game engine or nothing like that. This is just showing you how to kindly help mesh out your booleans. If I hit the tab key, we're getting we're holding our cube now because we put those slices in there, but we are not holding our boolean hole that we made. So let's go ahead and start slicing this sucker up. Now what we need to do is go to mesh edit and we have a tool called edge slice. Now edge slice is a great tool. Uh, you can call it up by hitting this button here or use the C key. I'm going to hit the C key, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, you want to click on any edge. You want to click on an edge, you'll see I get that little red dot and I can slide it along that edge. And I'm going to slide it right up to that point right there. And now we have this little point in there. Now I'm going to come over here and click right here on this next edge and you'll see it cuts it, okay? So this is like a manual cut tool. It's just called edge slice because you're using the edges to slice. As you can see, I'll select an edge and it'll slice to that edge. So let's go ahead and go all the way around with this edge slice here, like so. I'm going to select split at the middle and you'll notice when I do that, it automatically places a point at the middle. Okay? So let's go ahead and say split at the middle. We're going to run another one with we'll the C key. It's hard to see because of our grid, so let me turn that off. Here to here. Now, it don't have to be actually really straight or accurate, okay? That's not what we're aiming for here. And it connects right there to the same edge that is up here. Okay? So let me go ahead and hit Shift and click again, and it will reactivate my tool. And let me go around here real quickly and cut this up. Let me put one here, 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 here. And voila. Like so. Take this one to the corner. We're also going to take one here. Now remember, I'm just holding the shift key when I get done cutting. I just hold the shift key to start a new cut. Okay. I'm just quickly trying to go through this because the time limit is so short on YouTube when you're not a partner when you're not a partner, and I'm working on it. If I can get a partner on this channel, that would be great because tutorials just need more than 10 minutes. I'm going to put another one here, here, but I don't think enough people care about my Moto tutorials to actually make this a partner ever. So I'm not doing this for money to be a partner, actually. I'm doing this because I love it. I really wish more people would get involved and watch it. Okay, now as you can see, we have those cut down through there. Let's go ahead and run one from this corner here to this one, and from here to here. Okay, now we can run one from here to there to there. Shift click, start another one. Okay, I think I'm still missing a one or two of them, ain't I? Or have I got them all? Looks like I have got them all. Okay, now it looks like we've got our geometry sliced and we're keeping our flow pretty good. Hit the tab key, boom, look at there. Now we are definitely holding our shape. If I select two in the direction I want my loop to go and hit the L key, select my loop, hit alternate C to bring up my loop slice. I'm going to do count of one, free, click, and that's going to help tighten up my edge. Like so. Okay, and we can do the same thing on the bottom unless you want it round like that. 
now if you'll notice we have a perfectly round boolean cut into our square hole and that my friends is how you use booleans the correct way um, as we have with our joining geometry videos we're going to do more boolean videos and more complicated boolean videos there's more to booleans than just putting a cylinder through a square there's all kinds of stuff we can do with booleans all kinds of different methods to, to do booleans from subtract to union to stencil and we're going to go all over that and I'll put all the videos for booleans in the boolean playlist just like I'll put all the videos for upcoming joining geometry inside the joining geometry playlist so I hope you guys have took something from this first introductory boolean video and we'll see you on the next one. Happy modeling!